I'm going to show you how to lock and unlock items in PowerPoint. Now, locking an item in place can prevent it from being accidentally moved or edited. This is useful if you want to maintain consistency throughout your presentation, uh, any intellectual property or proprietary information on the slide. Now, I'll go through and show you two ways that you can lock or unlock an item in this session. And one of the key benefits is you prevent accidental changes. Now, if I move to this slide, you see I have some items and none of these are locked down. And as you can see, I can select them and I can move these objects around. Now, if I control Z and go back to what it initially looked like, say I wanted to keep this image in place because I like the way that the shadow and the sun and the clouds look. So if we right click on it and we see there is an option called lock. Now if we click on that you can now see on the out border of the image is a nice thick white border. Now as you can see I can no longer drag it. I can only just click on it. I could type in the image because it's uh, shape formatted with an image fill and that is still possible but I can no longer move the object. You can do this a second way by going to arrange and clicking on the selection pane and as you can see here not only do you have the view elements you can also have the lock elements. So let's say I wanted the oval which looks like a circle in this case, and I click on the lock, it is now locked, and I can no longer move that element, but I can still move all the other ones as well. You can also unlock them by clicking the unlock, so now you can see I can move this, but I still can't move this one, that's okay, you can right click, on it and click unlock and now this can move again stay tuned for more powerful powerpoint